Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. In this video, we will try that how to show the expression of upregulated gene or downregulated gene from transcriptomic data in a single view. And this we will do through preparing volcanic plot. In the volcanic plot, you can easily see or uh, check that which genes were upregulated and which ones are downregulated or which genes did not have any change in their expression level in response to a specific stress or specific treatment. And this we can prepare through the CB tool. How to prepare this? Let's start. This is my file that I have downloaded from NCBI GEO and if you want to know that how to download and how to extract your gene, you will see the videos related to this topic and the link of that video is present in the description. This is these all my genes and these are their expression that we have found from the transcriptomic data. The expression of these genes is in the control where this one, this expression is in response to a stress of these genes. And this was uh, their whole change that how much expression of this gene was changed in response to a stress in as compared to control genes. And these were the p value that tells us that this expression was significant or not. The full change or the special level tells us that this gene was upregulated or downregulated. And this p value tells us that this upregulation or downregulation of this gene in response to stress as compared to control was significant uh, or not significant. So it is very difficult to check all the all these selected genes. Like the here I have 113 selected genes and these one they are over change or they are up regulation and down regulation and these were are significant or non significant. It is very difficult to find one by one or a specific gene that which one is upregulated and which one is down regulated and either its regulation was significant or non significant but by preparing or by presenting it through volcano plot make it easy to choose your gene in a single view that we gene have the upregulation and significant upregulation while the weak genes have significant down regulation. In this way, so to know that first you need to open the CV tool, go to the other sorry graph, select or cannot plot. Here it needs the file that contains gene ID, log to F value and p value so that we will get from here these are the these are the transcript ids of my gene and these are the log to or full chain value and this is a p value so in this file we do not need these columns and we also give these transcript name into gene names like I give this transcript name as 001, this is 0203 and up to gene 113. In this way you can also give the name to each transcript of your own choice. Then select this from gene 1. No need to write this heading. So copy this gene ID and it's a for change. Now make a text file. Here is a gene. Uh, open it. Paste, save. 
now open the TV tool drag it ok and start now you have got the volcano plot here you can see that these red dots show the upregulated wheel where these yellow uh, sorry blue dots showing the down regulated where these genes shown shown that these genes didn't change in response to all stress. So, so here show control panel you can change the here you can change the color of uh, that gene that, that did not change in response to stress like uh, I give it to black color here you can also change the color of the like uh, you can show the purple or any other color of your own choice or that uh, blue one is and here red here you can change the p value up to 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 and and see that how many genes were changed or have the up regulation or down regulation here, here show top gene name here you can change the, the or label that what was this gene sign is what was this gene so here you can write any number of your genes that how many genes you have like I okay, write that 50 so here they give the name of top 50 genes that were up regulated or down regulated or have no change or if you want to all your that the name of all your genes will appear so write that that number that how many there are here you can change the legend font legend of your genes Font of legend or here size. From here you can change the size of these dots like ten, so it will be more brighter. In this way you can edit it or modify it according to your choice after editing or making it according to your choice here you can also make them visible by clicking on it and arranging them like in this way to make them more clear or visible So, so now for saving it you need to make the print screen like press the print screen button of your keyboard and open the paint and paste it or control V from your keyboard now crop it from here copy and open the new paint file paste and adjust, adjust it according to your choice and save it in your destination folder Plot. Plot. and save.
or you can also edit it uh, by using other uh, tools like uh, Photoshop or any other. And then open that folder, open that figure and use it into your manuscript. And in this way you can see that in a single view that the G49 have are upregulated, upregulated and significantly upregulated. And these are the four changes that how much it was upregulated. Uh, up and these was in the downregulated gene. So these, these portion are the blue one shown the downregulated and this one show the upregulated. Besides the these selected genes, you can also use the whole gene that are present in the genome of uh, your crop to make the volcano plot and see that how many genes or how much genes were upregulated or downregulated. So this is our video about volcano plot to show the upregulated and downregulated genes in a single view to TB2. Hopefully it will help you. Thank you.